This is poison ivy. It's climbing up this tree here. It has three leaves. The middle leaf has a long stem and these two have a real short one. About two days ago I took a piece of a leaf and rubbed it on my arm here and it sure turned into a rash. The best way I've found to get relief from the itch is to run it under the hottest water you can stand for 10 to 20 seconds. And that will get rid of the pain for two or three hours. You see, here's the vine and I took a machete knife and like cut it right there. You'll notice I'm wearing long sleeves and gloves. This is what the vine looks like when it's pretty big. It almost looks like it's hairy. Notice the leaves have little serrated edges. So there's the big poison ivy stalk. And I've noticed there's like little runner shoots. There's a poison ivy leaf. There's poison ivy right there. And when I mow this, I think I get poison ivy. The mower kicks it up and little particles get on my skin. Now I totally cover up when mowing the grass. Here's another spot in my yard and it's all over the ground here and climbing up this other tree. And my cat, I think has been giving me poison ivy because she'll walk through here and then I think she comes home and rubs against me and I get it on my skin. Come here. If you think you have the oil on your skin, use a lot of soap and a washcloth and scrub your arm and it helps get rid of the oil. And if you have a severe case of poison ivy, you should go to the dermatologist and they'll prescribe a steroid cream and it'll get rid of the rash pretty quickly. There was no symptoms for 24 hours and then a rash started and the maximum pain was between the third and fourth day and then it slowly subsided. Here's some more down here. It's pretty much all over my yard down here along the fence line. Yesterday I sprayed all this with Roundup And here's the poison ivy two weeks later, and it's all totally dead. Here's some more poison ivy. This is a vine that I chopped. Here's the original vine, where I cut the vine at the base of the tree. Now it's all dead. Here's the rash two weeks later. The itch is gone, but there's still a visual sign of it. And the poison ivy looks a lot like blackberries. They have the same leaf pattern, so it kind of camouflaged it. But the blackberries have thorns. Another thing to think about if you have an indoor-outdoor pet is if they get the oil on their paws and then they jump up on places like a pillow or on your couch, they can transfer the oil and you'll get it on your skin and break out in poison ivy rash.